snowing all the time for, I don't know, third day in a row, maybe more, but I do not mind, it's nice. Of course, my parking sensors are in the snow, <laughs> how to fix that? So yeah, parking sensors are nice feature, but <laughs> doesn't look re it doesn't work really nice for countries like Latvia in winter. <laughs> to keep distance, two meters everywhere. So my, one of the classmates in the kids' school is uh, got COVID, probably, because they're doing full tests for all the class. And basically, if that common test for all the tests is pos class is positive, you have to do test for each person. So, I don't know, we got tests to make it at home and then I will know are I am I'm allowed to go to the gym today. But everyone feels fine, everything is just fine, but yeah, procedures, you know. The test was negative, so we are good to go back to the gym. science degree is it really needed and how much from it I'm using in my day-to-day -day work but let me start by saying that each country is different and you have take a look in your specific market needs because I heard from guys in India for example that if you don't have computer science degree you even can't try to apply for the job so you have to have it I have bachelor degree in computer science I studied in a Transport and Telecommunication Institute, Computer Science, let's open programs. Let's open Computer Science degree, exactly the same, but I learned. Professor, director of the program is still the same. I finished my studies back in 2007. So, of course, program is a little bit changed. Let me answer directly, do I, do I use anything that I learned in this program? And I will say, no, I do not use. And why you can say that, yeah, I'm developing iOS applications. And if you do math, then back in 2007, iOS wasn't a thing yet. Of course, I learned iOS development on my own. Let's take a look what exactly I studied. There are two blocks, basically mine courses and spe specialized courses. <laughs> I will use yellow color for everything that is just math. And question about necessary, do you really need math in programming? Yeah, of course you need to do some basic calculations, but that is about it. Discrete math, so that's math of course, right? Higher math. Methods of computer processing of, of statistic data. The same. Math. Numeric met methods for com computer calculations. That is math as well, of course. Optimization methods. Mm. Do not remember, but guess that I'm guessing that it was math as well. I may be wrong with this one, but I'm guessing. So, probability theory and mathematics statistics, of course, math. Labor, safety, civil defense, not useful at all. Business, business communication in the prof professional activities, waste of time. Professional English, you will know. <laughs> Unlikely you will learn English in any university or school and so, or so on. You have to use a language to learn it. So far it looks good, right? All the other lessons probably are programming, right? Computer system structure. Uh, do not remember if I had that. But 
we had some yeah something about computer structures and so on basically that was everything was very theoretical that could be good i will use blue color for close but not good enough data structures and algorithms kind of yes it's good because you know you learn all those bubble sort methods and all that stuff but frankly if you are going to prepare for programming interview in funk companies that is not enough that is just very basic of al algorithms and so on uh, i will mark it as useful so yeah sure why not but do not expect that finishing this uh, lectures you will be able to apply to the funk no not even close database and banks frankly i do not remember that i learned that i have to check in my diploma object oriented programming yes yeah he's interested what we are talking about <laughs> uh, so object oriented programming it's kind of nice you will learn kind of uh, basics of object oriented programming but most likely you will use some outdated language and in the best case scenario you will study java if it is java okay fine operational systems that was a waste of time kind of right topic but just content of the lecture and um, professor wasn't great in that uh, general programming i do not remember i don't know what exactly is general programming but that will be some programming basics i don't know which language will be used pascal c something like that programming language concepts <laughs> maybe in one of uh, in one of those you probably will learn how to program in assembly that is kind of fun but not useful at all basically not needed Software engineering, system modeling, those will be kind of something very general. No, no, that is blue. That is definitely blue. That is not green one. Software project management, yeah, I remember very well. Basically, we learned what is programming life cycles, for example, waterfall method and so on. Agile and all that stuff wasn't a thing back then. Probably they are learning currently Agile and Scrum and all that stuff. It's kind of, yeah, good to know, but you can learn that in one internet paragraph. Oh, one more. English for career management. That is a waste of time, of course. Introduction to speciality, of course, waste of time. That is just explaining what is computers, maybe. <laughs> Something like that. Of course, I'm kind of joking, but it is part of true. Development in net environment wasn't a thing back when I learned there, but there is just two study points, basically some introduction, maybe some homework, <laughs> coursework in that, and that's it. So mobile and web application development, that's interesting. They are putting, there is two study points for mobile and web application development. I'm developing only mobile applications and only for iOS platform. And I have no clue about web, web application development. So my point here is that to go deep in any of those topics, you have to spend a lot of time and two study points that is just introduction. I can do probably a few YouTube videos about that <laughs> and information level will be about the same. Block B, special, special courses. So computer networks, remember that course very well. I assume that we will go deep in some router configuration, I don't know, something like that. But computer science, that is all about theory. And computer networks, that was just one more math. We just calculated how electric impulse will go from point A to point B. And that was just <clears throat> nothing, nothing about uh, real computer networks. Compiler constructions, let's go with blue. Compiler constructors was... Yeah, something, of course, but again, that is very kind of on abstract level without real practical use of everything that you are learning. All the point B looks kind of usable for practical work, work uh, skills, what you could learn, but computer science all is about science and there is very, very little of practical usage of everything that you are learning there. And if you are looking to kind of learn how to work as programmer, computer science will not really help to you. 
for example, Stanford University lectures about iOS development. Yeah, that's really interesting and that is useful, useful skills and they are really learning Swift programming language and building iOS applications in those lectures and so on. So if you are looking for practical skills, try to find programs like that. Lectures in computer science are not fo focused to teach you how to be programmer or teach you practical skills. They are focused to the academic studies and they have very little in common with real life problems. So that is totally different thing. <laughs> programming in real life and computer science studies. I'm not saying you to do not study computer science, but just be clear that if you are going, if you want to learn how to become a programmer, unlikely computer science degree will help you in that. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next one. Bye bye.